Hey guys, my name's Jess McDonnell. It is the 11th of October and you're tuned in to GSU's Top 5 where I bring you the top 5 stories of the week. Or more accurately, I just bring you 5 things that interested me. So let's get into it. Microsoft have had a fun time this week running damage control on possibly the worst thing one of their employees could have said about the Xbox One. Namely, the console will have a window into players' living rooms. Marketing executive Yusuf Mehdi made the comment alongside remarks about the advertising potential of the Xbox One, which does not evoke good thoughts about the major publisher who is still trying to fight the strongly held suspicion some gamers already have of the Kinect. Microsoft quickly jumped on the statement saying they're seeking a correction from AdAge who reported the story incorrectly. Xbox's Major Nelson said that gamers' privacy is very important to them and they do not collect information to share or sell. This week, it seemed that the glimmer on the horizon called GTA 5 on PC may not be so far off after all. Multiple sources have been assuring the gaming world of the mythical version's existence, including Eurogamer citing various industry sources and Intel Director of Marketing Chris Silver encouraging gamers not to lose out hope. Silver said the reason we haven't seen the title on PC so far is because someone paid a lot of money to keep it console exclusive, though he added he doesn't think this exclusivity will last long. Does this 500 108th story on GTA 5 is coming to PC convince you that it's happening or do you think this is more similar to the Half-Life 3 is happening camp of rumors? In what is definitely my favorite story of the week, Game Freak director Junichi Masuda said that choosing names for the Pokemon in Pokemon X and Y almost brought the devs to tears. Let's just enjoy the visual of that, shall we? Apparently, tons of names have already been used up, so the team had a hard time. Masuda did say they felt a real sense of accomplishment when they finally landed on names, which ended up including Frogadier, Pyroar, and Quilladin. Think you could do a better job, or would naming Pokemon also reduce you to tears? David Cage wants non-gamers to stop hating on the medium and also wants gamers who favor shooters and the like to stop hating on his quick time heavy games. The Beyond Dev said all games have value, including ones where the protagonist shouts Jason and Sean at a press of a button. In all seriousness, Cage had some pretty good comments to make in saying that no games are any less valuable or worthy of the title of being a game than any other. He insinuated that he doesn't like how people tend to put down art games as not real, whereas games that feature shooting rarely if ever have their validity in the medium question. What's your favorite game that may have been accused of being a non-game? Let me know down below. For those of you who may not have had your eye on Assassin's Creed 4, you can finally get your physics hopes and dreams up and forget the time that this happened in video games. Okay, fine. Okay. Oh, well, maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> yep, trade your weirdly concrete plastic sheeting for nice malleable plants because moving through the foliage in AC4 is going to be like a crazy dream where you play a video game and the plants move when you push past them. This feature is exclusive to Xbox One and PS4, so if you game physics buffs want to stop playing Portal for a bit and grab yourself a next-gen console, you can enjoy all the plant shifting action for yourself. Magical. You can leave me your comments on what you'd like to see upgraded physics-wise in games, not in real life, in the comments down below, or you can chat to me on my Twitter at Jess McDonald. This week on site, we've got Johnny telling you how you can placate your longing for Batman Arkham Origins in all forms of written and visual media, Danny gives you the rundown on whether games should be more filmy or not, and Seven Cam look at what has to be the most terrifying visual interpretation of centaurs that I've ever seen. That is all the news I have for you today, but be sure to check back with me every single weekday of next week. Until then, I guess you could play some games or watch some TV or something. You can also check out www.gameswatch.com forward slash welcome to check out our new site and hopefully it's working better now than it was yesterday. If not, we've definitely got some problems. I'll see you later.